so now let's create our backend service so for that let's go to spring.start and let's select java uh, for the build i will be using maven and for the version of spring boot i will be using 2.7.12 so com dot pushkar artifact is book service i will be using java 8 let's add dependency so lombok spring web let's generate this and uh, i will add the aws java sdk after downloading this okay so let's download this so generate so it has downloaded so now let's open it in intel ij so now i have opened the book service in the intel ij so now let's uh, first add the aws java sdk so for that let's go to google let's say uh, maven aws sdk so let's take that latest dependency so add it in the dependency yeah so we have added the aws java sdk now let's uh, trigger the maven so download all the dependencies It will take like a couple of minutes because uh, the Java uh, SDK is quite big and it will download almost around 300 libraries. Let's wait like one to two minutes. By the time, let's update the uh, Java project structure. So um, for the language level, let's select eight. And for SDK, let's select that 1.8. Apply, okay. So now we are good. Let's pause this video and I will start once the download is finished. So as you can see the download has uh, finished so we can see that all the aws dependencies now have downloaded so let's start so we'll first add the controllers let's not add the controller let's first set up the dynamo db connection so for that let's create a um, config to fetch the aws credential so config dot aws config and let's annotate it uh, as aws not aws the configurations and let's create a b now AWS credentials provider get so this will create a bean of AWS credential provider and it will also uh, generate the uh, credentials okay so we can also create a bean of let's say AWS credentials and get get credentials and it will simply return get credentials provider dot get credentials and also let's create one uh, config file for dynamodb that will create the dynamodb client okay so dynamodb config let's also annotate this with configurations and create a bean of amazon dynamo db get amazon dynamo db so now let's create an instance of amazon dynamo db Amazon Dynamo DB client builder dot standard dot with credential. Let's 
auto wire the credentials private aws credentials provider so this uh, client builder uses the credential provider dot with a region so let's use the region as us east one and i think that's enough so let's build it so as you can see that we haven't used the credential so let's go and uh, um, remove that credential i believe that we don't need it so let's go and remove this this is like a necessary bin because our work is done by credential provider itself so now let's also create a dynamodb mapper because i will be interacting with dynamodb by using dynamodb mapper so let's create a bean of that so the name is dynamodb mapper get dynamodb mapper return let's create a instance of dynamodb mapper and it will take get amazon dynamodb so we are done with the configurations so these two are the required configuration and this will the credential provider if you have aws cli then it will take their credentials from the aws cli or if you have your environment variable then it will use from there this is a chain and it will create your credentials provider by going through this chain so one by one it will go and find the credentials and whichever is available it will use that for example uh, this will use the environment variable this will use the system properties and similarly so we are done with the configuration so let's go and create the our model package so let's create the model of pojo of the book so model dot book so let's annotate it with the uh, uh, with lambda data okay so what we need is private um, string book id we'll also need private string book title private string book image url also private let's price the book is in double okay so double book price you can also take it as a string but since price uh, can be in double so i'm taking double so let's create some constructor so all our constructor and also you need no our constructor for dynamodb mapper and let's add dynamodb related annotation so for that let's use dynamodb uh, table and let's name it as book let's name it as books info table and the book id will be our dynamodb hash key so let's add dynamo db hash key with attribute name as book id similarly dynamo db attribute for the title and name it as book title i'm using camel case for the uh, dynamo db table so all the columns will be in camel case for the image url dynamo db attribute attribute book image url for the price dynamo db book price I think we are ready with the uh, book Pojo. 